President Mohamed Buhari on Tuesday advocated urgent measures towards the speedy trial of cases and decongestion of custodial centers in the country because of the novel coronavirus pandemic. The president wrote a letter to the Chief Justice of Nigeria, Justice Ibrahim Tanko Mohamed, to draw his attention to the recent call by the United Nations on all countries to consciously reduce the population of prison inmates since the physical distancing and social self-isolation in such conditions are practically impossible. He also suggested to the Chief Justice of Nigeria to, at this stage, consider taking immediate steps as appropriate to ensure the setting up or designation of special courts in all states, including the FCT, to try cases of armed robbery, banditry, kidnapping, and other serious offenses in order to facilitate speedy trials. We're now joined by Mande Ubani, a legal practitioner, to react to this development. Thank you for joining us. My pleasure. Good morning. Good morning. The president is seeking for speedy trial. Now let's look at why this is important now and the reason is being difficult to achieve speedy trial in Nigeria. Uh, well, I, I'm very happy that uh, uh, attention is being paid on this issue of uh, quick dispensation of justice uh, in Nigeria, where the pandemic is now the causative effect. Uh, even after this pandemic uh, era in which we're in, every desire of uh, any stakeholder, any major stakeholder in the, in the administration of justice system in Nigeria is that we should begin to actually uh, have quick dispensation in the area of administration of justice in this country. We have had cases that last up to 10 years, I mean, uh, at the trial stage, sometimes 15 years. I have had, have had, it was a particular case in which it lasted 30 years for a land matter. And I, I met it while I, when I graduated from the university and the case lasted more than 12 years before then up to 15 years. So it, it is not too good for us to be having delay in administration of justice, you know, because justice delayed is actually justice denied. Uh, so I'm very happy at this juncture that the World uh, Organization, w, I mean, uh, UNO, is asking all nations in order to ensure uh, obedience to social distancing and isolation, which will be practically impossible if you have all the uh, people awaiting trial and, and even those who have been convicted all lumped up together in the, in the correctional centers. So the, what the president has done is something that is commendable, believing that the judiciary on their own part will, will listen to that advice that has been given and try as much as possible to you know, uh, designate uh, public courts that will be dealing with these cases as quickly as possible, much as also they will try to decongest the correctional centers because a lot of people that are there, most of them are waiting trial and they've been there for years even more than the years that if they have been convicted for that offense, you know, they, 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 that they would have served. So it's very important and imperative that this advice should be taken seriously by the, by the, by the third arm of government. How convinced are you really, considering that we've had less than 3,000 people released after um, quite a couple of months of uh, investigation and preparation um, by a committee set up to review uh, some of these cases that are in prison? Maybe they can't afford bail, um, they are on, uh, on the, in detention for minor offenses. It took us quite a while to release, to get to the point where we could release 3,000 people. So with this pandemic and the lockdown, down uh, that we have, uh, how convinced are you that m this will amount to much? Well, it, it all depends on how serious uh, uh, the particular arm that the letter is written takes it. You know, it's how serious they will consider that advice. It's, it's very, very imperative. It is very, very important at this juncture uh, for the chief uh, justice of Nigeria to write the letter to the chief judges of the various uh, courts in the state and let there be a, a particular application of that advice. It is even in the law. The new reform law that, that has to now change the prison, Nigerian prison system to correctional center, there is a particular provision in that law that says the judges within jurisdiction must ensure that the prison within their jurisdiction is not exceeded in terms of number of persons that are there, the inmates. And at any point in time, the number exceeds the capacity that a, a conscious effort should be made to decongest that particular uh, uh, correctional center and ensure that no more inmates are taken in, into those uh, correctional centers. That law is there. 
and is actually being obeyed in, in, in breach. There has also been a law in Administration of Criminal Justice Act of 2015 that also gave uh, policemen and police officers, DPOs within jurisdiction, and some magistrates to be designated to ensure that every time they go to the correctional centers and detention centers like the police stations and some of the uh, security agents, agents uh, uh, detention centers to ensure that people that are lawfully detained or, you know, in manner detained that is longer than necessary are released or to face their trial rather than being kept in all those uh, detention centers or in correctional centers unduly. There has been such law that has been enacted, but it has been also obeyed in breach. So I think that in the light of this pandemic and in the light of the fact that it is going to be very, very serious, it's going to be a big crisis if we have a situation where community infection is is, is, is in, involved, where we don't have the capacity. So to, 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 to do this and stem it in, in, on time is the best thing. So I think that I am very hopeful, which is your question, that the judiciary should be here and all other stakeholders in this, in, in, this, in, in this profession should be able to live up to expectation in obeying and complying with the directive of ensuring the congestion of our correctional centers and detention centers to ensure that we don't have crisis on our hands because of this pandemic. We don't have the capacity. We don't have the capacity in case we breaks into, it breaks into community infection. All right, let's look at uh, an aspect of the letter by the president where he said that there is a need to ensure that the chief, just, the chief judges uh, in states and the FCT high courts direct lower courts to comply with requirements of the Administration of Criminal Justice Act law in issuing remand warrants in criminal cases, especially in cases which are not within their jurisdiction. What's your thought about that? I, I, I didn't get that very clearly, but I, we have always said that it is even wrong in the first place for prosecutors to charge any person for a crime before a court that has no jurisdiction. It is a very wrong process. It is a very wrong procedure. And it is also very wrong for a court that has no jurisdiction to now remand an accused person in any detention center or correctional center. It is actually absolutely wrong. If you have no jurisdiction to try any matter, then it, is, it also implies that you have no jurisdiction to remand that individual in any correctional or detention center. So I think that the best advice will be for the prosecutors or for the Ministry of Justice to ensure that they conclude their investigation appropriately and take an accused person before the appropriate court, before the appropriate court, so that the court will assume jurisdiction immediately, and if this person that has been accused of any crime deserves any bail, he should be granted bail in order to face his trial. It is wrong to clump people into jail when the law assumes and presumes that person to be innocent, because it's, it's wrong. It's absolutely wrong for somebody who has not been convicted to be taken to correctional center or detention center and be kept there indefinitely and unduly. That is absolutely a violation of that individual's right. So my advice is that we should, as a nation, the executive, the judiciary, and the legislative assembly must ensure that when somebody is charged for a crime, let that person be charged of a crime within time and taken to court within the court that has jurisdiction. And the proper thing should be done, either by way of granting that individual bail and then ensure commencement of trial so that the person will have his fate or her fate known rather than detaining somebody when you have not in any way convicted that individual. Because the law constitution presumes an accused person to be innocent until you have proved that person guilty. So it is wrong for anyone to be advised to now begin to remand people in prison unduly when All that right. person has not been convicted. So I think that the best thing for us to do at this juncture, at this point in time, from all the attorney generals of the federation, I mean of the federation attorney general from all the various states to ensure that we comply with this issue of charging people before the appropriate court and ensuring that immediate trial commences and that the person that's supposed to be bail should be given bail right. and then the trial should commence in order to know the fate of that individual before the judiciary. Thank you very much, Monday, for your thoughts on the news. My pleasure. Thank you very much.